Hey guys, what's up? It's Bobby with Gilk Sports Cards. Hope you are having a fantastic day. Uh, what you see uh, in front of you there is just a bunch of Bowman autographs. These were either cards that I pulled or just players that had a little bit of hype in the last couple of years. So I FOMO'd and bought some of their cards and got them graded. And unfortunately, none of them really have lived up to any type of hype. So I am just threw them on eBay, seven day auction ending next week. And we will uh, we will see what happens. Just get what I can get for it. Uh, but bottom line, the reason for this video, not really only about Bowman prospects and, you know, that that sort of flip, but it's the, the man, people are getting smarter and the hobby is getting harder all combined. It is really, really tough to flip cards right now. And so again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. So me, I, I buy tons of raw cards, send them in for grading, and I try my best to flip. There's some goods and bads that come out of that. I'm more lower end cards, but I'm building that up to try to get a little bit more higher end. But I use those profits not to like put in my bank account, every dollar goes into uh, buying a, a nice large PC card for myself. So I'm growing my PC this way. So that's why it's fun. It's a lot of work, but I love sports cards. And I also kind of think of it as an investment, you know, in 20 years when I decide that I want to retire, I'll have all these the cards that I could potentially, you know, sell to help me maybe retire, you know, a little bit younger or help me buy whatever it is that I really, really need at that point. So it's just kind of fun it's like a second you know retirement plus program for me and i'm having a great time but the days of just buying a raw card sending them in for grading and then making a bunch of money guys it's, it's over it doesn't work that way uh put in a lot of research on some of my uh, psa cards that will be uh, arriving in the next week or two and man even even if i get psa 10s on a few of these cards i'm going to basically break even and I'm getting absolutely destroyed if I get any nines. So basically, and I think many of you know this, but if you don't, raw cards actually, for the most part, are selling on eBay, on ComC, at your local shows for more than a PSA 9. So like if there are, if there is, if you see a card in there, it, you feel like odds are against you that you're going to get a PSA you know, that you're not going to get a PSA 10, don't send it in, guys. Just sell it raw. Of course, some of those may end up getting a 10, you know, and you might have made a little bit more money that way, but the odds are against you, and you're spending that, you know, 17 to $23 to, to grade cards, and it's just, it's just a big, it's a big L. Even some of the higher-end cards. So I'll tell you guys right now that a couple players I'm really big on, I've been buying them for a couple months, thankfully, because their cards are going up right now is Will Levis and Brandon Miller. And even those guys, like, like their silvers, which I bought in like four or five each, their silvers in a PSA 9 currently sell for about the same or a couple bucks less than what I've been buying them for raw. So if you don't hit that 10, you're in trouble. You're going to lose 20 25%. It's just becoming difficult. You got to, for me, I have to really, really focus on that. I can't just start buying cards up, you know, and and assuming that if they get a nine, I'm going to do fine. I got to research. You got to look up what they're selling for right now. You got to just put in a little bit of extra work. That's on me. I got to do that. But I'm going to give you another example of why it's getting tough. So about two and a half months ago, I bought this Bowman U Drake May Auto. It's out of 99 on card auto. Nice card. Uh, it was on sale on uh, obviously tops.com for $140. And I had like a $20, you know, $20 off coupon deal, whatever. So I got it for pretty much like $125 shipped. Pretty good, right? And the plan was obviously he's going to get drafted in the top three. And so I, I, my plan was to buy it, hold it for a couple months, and then 
put an auction for it to end on the night of the draft. And I did it perfectly, guys. This card ended about 30 minutes after he was drafted by the Patriots. I did everything perfectly, right? So I got a, a coupon. I got a deal on it. I picked a player that's a quarterback, hyped. I mean, I know he's not as hyped as Caleb or Jaden, but, you know, third quarterback taken. Uh, and I probably perfectly, you know, perfectly timed it in which the card ended as soon as his hype was probably building at a pretty high peak. So spent about 120, say 130 after taxes and everything like this. And the card sold for 180, which is ain't bad, right? But then you got to take off the eBay fees and shipping and all that, you know, the work and all that kind of stuff. So to make a long story short, I did a, I made a perfect investment in my opinion, sold it at the perfect time. And after eBay fees and everything, guess how much I made guys? Because I have it on my spreadsheet. I've just literally just finished it. $23.88. And now again, on if I make $23.88 on every car, I'm going to be rocking. That's all good. But to, to have that you know, $30 investment, holding it for two, two and a half months, and then selling it for $23 profits, that's brutal. And like, will this card go any higher than that down the road? Like, I... I I don't know. I mean, he maybe he plays great in the preseason or whatnot. I feel like this is going to be one of the peaks, right, of Drake May. Now I could have taken it out and graded it. If if it if it, if it got a PSA nine, I'm probably going to make less than 180. But if it did get a 10, you know, I the days of the, this thing going for like 600 with a PSA 10 that end that doesn't happen anymore. I bought a Caleb Williams auto, which which was way better than obviously results of this one. And I bought it for right around 200 and sold it for 500. So I just got a 10 and maybe I should have went that right. It might have, it might have doubled, but I just didn't like the corners. They look good, but it just kind of scared me. I thought it was kind of 50, 50 plus everyone likes, you know, like when it's, you know, sealed. And so I thought it would do better, but to make a long story short guys, I just thought I timed this thing perfectly. And even so, I hardly made any money. So not to freak you out, not to be like bad news. I still love it. I'm still I'm still going for it. You just gotta be you gotta be more creative. And in my opinion, the key is you gotta pick the right players at the right time. So again, I was buying Will Levis and um brandon miller rookie silvers for about 30 to 40 dollars uh, a couple months ago so, well like brandon miller a little bit sooner than that because that product just came out and now i've noticed that those have doubled so even if i get a nine i'm gonna be i'm gonna be okay most likely because i i just i, I timed it right you know like right now if you buy those guys and you're spending 60 65 I'm just letting you know that in the PSA 9, that's what they're selling for a little, like right at that price, maybe a touch low. Plus you pay for the, you know, the $20 grading fee. So just be careful out there. That's the moral of the story. Um, don't just go like me and just, just start buying cards off eBay, you know, and just assuming that even if you get a nine, you're going to do okay. Put in the work, do the research. I am definitely going to, um, be way more careful with the cards I buy you know, in the future. So just kind of a spoiler alert. There's a, a good chance my next couple PSA reveals might be a little bit rough. Uh, if I don't get a bunch of 10s, I'm going to, it might be, might be painful, but I got some good stuff in there as well. So that's it for the video today, guys. Appreciate everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to do a video every single day. We do, we open a lot of boxes up, but just kind of a rough, rough, rough streak right now select basketball is on the way so we'll have that for you soon i uh, did order some more prism uh megas as well so we do have some some fun things coming up bowman will be in may so that's exciting but uh appreciate you all please subscribe
leaving a comment if you guys are having any luck flipping cards and maybe some better, better strategies that I could use. Have a great day. Have a great week. We'll see you on a video tomorrow, guys. Peace.